Hi, we're going for a journey. Blake and I are going for a little walk. It turned into a gorgeous night, which is so fun. So I'm just wearing this little Aritzia top, some Free People biker shorts. I'm just popping on these little Nike tennies, and I want some sunglasses. Sometimes I just feel like I don't feel like I look put together, and I think it's because of the, yeah, those are not gonna happen. It's because of the freaking um, humidity right now. It's making me crabby. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Are we done talking about furniture? Why, do you have something you want to say? No, I was just looking. I don't know how Maybe you feel about this coffee table. Gorgeous. Like I was staring me down. It's turned into such a beautiful night. Good morning, you guys. It is Kind of a gloomy day. We're headed to the farmer's market. I just did my Tasha and yeah. Anyways, we're heading to the farmer's market and then we decided we have to go into Naperville because, so it depends, like when we go into Naperville all depends on if I get a shift covered because I work at Louis today one to six. So I'm trying to get it covered so that we can just go into Naperville because we're, we have to go look at furniture. We're going to CB2, Crate and Barrel, all of that because we realized that if we order stuff from those places, it's not gonna come till like September, so we need to just find it in a store and like get it that way. So, yeah, that's the plan, Stan. Um, today's Dash is last day, so after the farmer's market, I'm going to Dash with my girls. And, uh, yeah. Okay, we just left. Blake got some asparagus, I got spinach, and then two things of mixed greens. I love the greens from the farmer's market. So, headed to drop this stuff off and then meet my friends now. Thank you. We decided to make a last minute trip to Naperville. It's so hot out because we're on the hunt for furniture. I don't know if I said that, but we're stopping on our way there at the restoration outlet. We made it. This is in Aurora. We're in Naperville. Blake's upset with me because I had to shower and he has food at this place called Catch that he ordered and he's mad because well. he doesn't want his lemon chicken getting soggy. First world problems, right? He's like actually kind of throwing a fit about it. This situation was flipped. You'd be freaking out. I wouldn't order lemon chicken. Yeah, I was trying to be in restoration. He's he's so mad at me, you guys. He's not even mad at me. He's just had enough. He goes, we're in the restoration outlet, and, and there were some great pieces, but it was just like, like we're still not gonna buy it. Like it just wasn't like it's not in our price range. And he was perusing, and I was like, all right, let's go. Like. This table is beautiful, but it's literally a hundred bucks off the regular price. So, this isn't gonna work. But, he was mad that I was rushing him. It's fine. Guys, my new perfume smells so good. I freaking love it. Oh, I love that the sun is out here too. Feels so good. 
We made up. He's no longer mad at me. I, I did not make up. Hi guys, I just got back from a walk. I did morning Tasha, of course. I didn't film it because I always film it. And Blake went for a run. Are you looking at mattress toppers? Um, or the thingy? What is it called, box spring? Yeah, he's always perfecting this apartment right now. But anyways, I went for a little walk. I was feeling really anxious and sometimes, actually, okay, so I listened to The Health Code Daily, which is Sarah's day and um, her husband, Kurt's um, daily podcast, and they were talking about how like it's okay to have a bad day, just like what things make them feel good when they are having a bad day. And one of the things they said was literally what I was doing because I was feeling off. So I was like, you know what? I need to get back to nature. I need to get outside, listen to a podcast. And they said that Sarah was like taking myself out for coffee or just getting in nature. And that really resonated with me. It really changes the game. And, Something else fun happened. I'm probably gonna put this on because we're headed to Crate and Barrel, CB2, and then Target to see if we can find a coffee table, a TV console, stuff like that. But Blake, you'll love this. So I read The Mastery of Love by Don Miguel Ruiz and I've been wanting to read The Four Agreements and I just like have never picked it up or like gotten it on my Kindle. I've never really made it happen. And I always look at the little mini libraries when I'm passing places. They had the four agreements. I've never okay. taken a book, but I'll take a book back at some point. But yeah, so I'm so excited to read it. I love those little libraries. I think they're so cool. And I'm taking it as a sign that I should read this book. So anyways, hydrating. I've got my Sparrow coffee. I just added in a little bit of oat milk from Malk. Mm. And we're gonna head out. Update, we've had no such luck so far. Um, Crate and Barrel Outlet had nothing. CB2 Outlet had one coffee table that's gonna be like our last resort kind of, that we like. But it's just like, it has a huge nick in it and so we just don't know if we wanna go that route. I'm leaving this in the car. You have the key, right Blake? And, oh, we went to Target too. I don't know if I told you guys that we got lamps, which is really good. We ordered a ton on Amazon. So really all we have to get right now is we're at Ikea. I've never been to an Ikea before, <laughs> but we're gonna get, um, uh, we know we want a um, TV console from here because we don't want it to be like a statement piece. We literally just want white and glossy. So that was kind of like my, that's my vision. Um, we're doing some really bold things. I feel like in this apartment we're going like, um, I don't know if I told you guys this, but if you've heard of the Edition Hotel Miami, the lobby of the Edition Hotel is what we're going for. Really light woods. Um, I thought that maybe we would want to do like darker woods. Like there's that coffee table from Restoration that's like thin and then big and it's like really dark gray but I think it's too stark honestly like to have a white couch and then have that we want it to be like beach house chic with a hint of um a hint of like modern art guys Ikea is kind of cool like I'm kind of shook I think I'm afraid of Ikea it's very streamlined I will say but I feel like I'm in the movie The Giver, or the book. I've never seen the movie, but I know there's movies with The Giver right now. This feels very um, utopian society to me. 
Um, we were walking through and you know how it has like, go this way, go this way, whatever, the exit. And Blake was like, this is your worst nightmare. I was like, I think so. But we secured just white glossy. That's what we're going for. You wanna look at as is? Sure. I think I'm gonna get this set of Alex drawers just for organization purposes. For like, I'm thinking like sunglasses, like jewelry, even like extra like skincare and stuff. I think it'll just help to streamline my organization a lot. This whole thing is pretty good quality. It's 111 bucks and we have a haul closet, so I'm gonna put it in there. Okay, you guys, so I'm en route to Home Goods, and I wanted to just like talk because I am so freaking excited to move to Chicago and I'm just so excited about our apartment. I think it's going to be, I am I think I've said this, but like beach, one hotel, addition hotel, almost like, just like very like soothing vibes. Hint of restoration, hint of West Elm even. Anyways, so the one thing one thing we haven't bought yet is a coffee table, which has been kind of stressful, which I know, like, talk about freaking, like, first world problems, um, stressing out about not having a coffee table, but you know what? I'm just going to be honest. It's been, it's been a ride. Like, we spent hours yesterday on the hunt for one, and it's like, everything is so backordered because of COVID, and I think just a lot of people are, like, moving into new spaces and getting new furniture, and, like, we found one and it's like top of our price range, but it's used. We ended up actually finding it on Facebook Marketplace. Oops, camera fell. And it's from Anthro. And the lady like will not budge in price. And we're like, seriously, like it's freaking used lady. But she's like, it's very lightly used, taken care of. It's a gorgeous coffee table. So honestly, we might just pull the trigger on it because it's so like, it's a really cool piece. And it's pretty much exactly what we're looking for. Just circular instead of like a square. But anyways, so we're kind of just like, that's why I'm going to Home Goods to see. Okay, I guess we need a lamp too for our bedroom on the dresser. But yeah. I'm so excited to just like get everything together. And like, I have, I really love interior design. Um, and Blake, like Loki kind of has a knack for it too. Like he is, he's good at it. And he's good at like fitting, he's just kind of like, he's a Lego dude. He's an engineer. He's good at like fitting pieces together. So I think he's like really, he has a nice, he's a good eye. So, we're both very clear on our vision and like we have a lot already in terms of like small things like I have coffee table books that I love I have all of the plants I have all of that stuff so it's really just like bigger pieces um and Blake has so much he's such a technology guy so he already has like the Sono sound system for like our whole apartment which will be sweet he has like an awesome espresso machine which I'm so excited to utilize iced Americanos baby um and yeah, so I think overall we're going to have like a sick setup once we get it set up, but we just need to like get everything settled. And I just hope nothing like gets, because right now we're like teetering right on the edge. Like our mattress might not be there on time. And I just really, I'm like praying to the universe that everything just comes right when it's supposed to. And right, honestly, no, right on June 9th when we move in. If our bed and our couch and our mattress all got delivered that day, that would be phenomenal. A miracle. Anyways, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Um, but yeah, we've been like Ramboing and we have stuck to our budget we and that's one thing like if you're trying to design an apartment thoughtfully consciously in terms of like buying quality pieces at a good price point I think it's essential that you like that you start your research months beforehand like we've been doing research on this for literally probably six months and so we knew like I had we had the excel spreadsheet we had the word document we knew exactly what we wanted in terms of like 
purchased other things um or in terms of like price points quality looks styles all of that so that is my biggest tip is and like also keep track of things like keep track of what you're buying so that you don't like buy multiples of something and keep track of how much you're spending because apartment shopping can turn into just like a freaking vortex I feel like in house shopping um that's why I always think like if you're able to do this I recommend if you're like shopping for a house look into getting an interior designer because they can really help to make everything look cohesive and like it's not that much more expensive than um doing just buying everything yourself because the interior designer can get things at discounted prices um and then like their fee kind of just makes it so that you're getting it for the same price you would have been so yeah um okay we're at home goods so hopefully this is a win usually the naperville home goods is pretty fire so or either the naperville home goods is fire or the um iowa city home goods is just ass i'm not quite sure but hi guys it is later i don't know the last time i vlogged but i'm making the boys lunch um we got a coffee table we got it from wayfair more updates to come but it's really good quality solid wood which is what we wanted and the wash that we're going for too i'm making the boys lunch i'm also meal prepping just a little bit of food for me so i have these mushrooms that i used avocado oil and salt on but i'm making the boys eggs so i'm making them a frittata this is like an og mary montanero like young girl i used to make these all the time um so what you do is just prep some veggies so i have mushrooms asparagus red pepper and then i'll put some spinach in it too as well as some goat's cheese and then i'm gonna you put it you cook the veggies add the eggs and then put it in the broiler to get it all crispy on the top i'll show it to you guys once it's done and then i have some of this bread garden bread which is like what kind of bread is this asiago polenta uh, yeah and i'll just do that with some avos 